This would uh, be a great step forward in removing all of the remaining obstacles to the right to vote. We are marching today to dramatize to the nation, dramatize to the world, that hundreds and thousands of Negro citizens of Alabama, but particularly here in the Blackfield area, denied the right to vote. Fifty years ago, registering to vote here in Selma and much of the South meant guessing the number of jelly beans in a jar, the number of bubbles on a bar of soap. It meant risking your dignity and sometimes your life. The President of the United States, Lyndon Johnson, members of the House and Senate, and the American people heard our cries and responded to our pain and to our suffering. The Voting Rights Act stands weakened. It's future subject to political rancor. How can that be? We may no longer have to guess the number of jelly beans in a jar in order to cast a ballot, but even as we sit here, there are those in power who are doing their darndest to discourage people from voting. If that law were to pass now, and we could operate under that law going into this election, a couple of things they could not do that they're doing now. Now it's even more important because we're worried that a great way to suppress the vote is to make people have to risk their lives to go vote. The Voting Rights Act was one of the crowning achievements of our democracy. What's our excuse today for not voting? 